Hi, right, Coach. Hey, you y'all. Some thoughts. First, tell me how the state champs sound and then give me some thoughts. Oh, my gosh. Well, when you say the word state champs, I mean, it tells you everything you need to know. The best in the state. I knew these girls were the best team. It was whether we were going to step up and prove ourselves today. And I am so, so, so super proud of them. You know, I have seven seniors with a manager, and this is just bittersweet that they worked hard. This is four years in the making. We've been here three times. And if you can't remember, when they were freshmen, I stood here and said, we're coming back. And you can mark my words on that, and there will be a different outcome. Third time's a charm, and here we stay. State champs. Question, Coach, um, talk about the waning moments and, you know, going through and just what, what, you, what you were thinking and feeling and, you know, they take a lead and then you go on a little run and take the lead back. Just talk about how your heart was pumping. Well, you know, you, you, you get so nervous and you get so excited for the girls and you want to be able to do it for them and you can't and you try as a coach to be able to explain to them exactly where they need to be and what they need to do and, and what time they need to be here and who they need to pull out on. Um, you know, Kyra was running with four fouls, so we had to be really careful with that. It's very exciting and, and I'll, I'll tell you that I never lost faith in my girls. I told them before we came in today, you're going to win it. Even if we're down at halftime, even if we're down going in the fourth quarter, even if we're down with 30 seconds on the clock, we're winning today. And you have to believe that as much as I believe that. And, you know, I turned to my assistant coach. I said, we got, we got, I mean, I'm not even nervous. Like, I'm just so excited for them. And, you know, and I wanted to, to explain to them that, you know, you miss a free throw, you miss a layup. Those are crucial things in a game that can cost you a game. But overall, it's going to come out who works the hardest and who puts the ball in the hole. And I was just so proud that they stepped up and did what they were supposed to be doing. It's just so exciting to be able to coach such a great group of kids that they just, they're just wonderful. And, and it's not just in ball. They're good at school. Right. They're just good kids. And, you know, I love to see these kind of teams be rewarded. And Barb's a great team. you got to give them credit. You know, it's got to be a hard loss for them, only losing one game or two games or three games. Um, taking a loss to a team that's 34 and 0, 35 now, yeah. 35 and 0, it's tough. That's tough to swallow. But you know what? Know that you're one of the top two teams in the state. We're just number one. Yeah. Yeah. Us? Yeah, us. Coach, please talk about number 24. Um, <laughs> she's phenomenal. There's not enough words to say about her. Uh, you know, she's a decade player. You see her once every 10 or 20 years. We're not going to have another one. Uh, you know, and I'm just the fortunate one that got to coach her. I mean, how fun is that? She, um, she motivates her team. She loves every single one of her girls. You know, she, there's not a day that she doesn't want to be around all of them. I mean, she eats lunch with them. She hangs out with them. You know, they just have so much fun together. And, and she's just the type of athlete that she can do whatever you ask her to do. And she's not going to complain. She's not going to fuss. She's going to step up and perform. And, you know, she came to me at the end. She said, Coach B, you know, we're up by two. Coach B, Coach B, I missed my free throw. I said, I don't care about that. I don't care about that because I know you have the ability to take over and put the ball in the hole. I know that you have the ability to do what I'm asking you to do. And right now I'm asking you to play defense and get that rebound and come down and make that layup. And she did exactly what I needed her to do. She's phenomenal. Kyra, how does this feel for you? I know you've been wanting this for a long time. So yeah, yeah, you can get up there. Thank you. Did you join her, Chris? Yeah, you can um, Definitely, it's a feeling that you can't really explain. And when the clock hits zero, four quarter, and we're up, I mean, it's just – I mean, what do you do? We won um, after four years of falling short. We finally won, and we didn't only win a state championship. We went undefeated. And um, that speaks volume for us. And the feelings, I can't really tell you how I felt because um, you have to be in my position to be able to feel it. Car, talk about how you were – did you have to alter your game at all because of the foul trouble? Or did it, like, pull back on the aggressiveness late? I did. Um, I had to pull back on my aggressiveness. Um, they talk a lot about the hand checking. I don't, I don't really use my – I don't need to use my hands for defense. I, I use my feet. But, um, you know, sometimes you do stick your hand out to slow the player down or I couldn't really switch on a big girl. And, I mean, because, uh, I mean, the refs missed a couple calls, which is why I had four fouls anyway. I'm not saying it's their fault. But um, it's hard. It's hard playing with four fouls with so much time left in the game. Knowing that the game is close, I mean, I couldn't sell my team out. So I had to alter my game, and I did what my coach needed to do. I mean, needed me to do. I did what my team needed me to do, and we came out with the win. You said you altered your game, but you still were were fighting in there for, for rebounds. And there were a couple times when, you know, there was some, there was a little contact or whatever. You you didn't look like you were you did you were you looked fearless almost. Oh, absolutely. You have to be. Um, I, I know I had to be. I play smart. Um, I'm not gonna go in there and jump over somebody's head or run into somebody on offense. You know, those are the type of things that refs really look for, I guess. And 
Um, I wasn't gonna play, oh, I'm just gonna let you get the easy layup. I'm sorry, I'm not. Coach Reed, if I have to take my fifth foul, I'm not, I'm not gonna let this team have an easy layup. I'm gonna put my hands up or do whatever I can to distract them. So um, I just did what I needed to do. Um, I, I couldn't have fear. I knew that I had to play smart. I knew that um, my team needed me and I just, I just, I just fought. Lindsay, you, the ball went on a little run and, and you hit a, a big three that kind of sparked, seemed to spark your team and you looked pretty fired up after you hit that three. What what were your feelings after, uh, with that shot? Um, I was excited and I just really wanted to do something to help us get up and just like keep fighting and keep pushing. So I just felt, was really excited when I made the three. Kyra, I know you always, you know, play really unselfish. How do you just kind of balance, you know, when you want to pass and when you want to try to take over a little bit more? Um, I know um, I've, uh, after 34 games, after three years, you, you learn. Um, you figure it out. Uh, Coach B tells me, look, when you have to take these shots. And sometimes even when she tells me I have to, I just have so much faith in my team. I, I don't, I have so much faith in them because they're just as good as I am. Um, that's why we're 35 and 0. That's why we're state champs. So, but um, when I have to take the big shot, I take the shot. And um, but I never have doubt in any of my girls because if it was them, I wouldn't want them to have doubt, doubt in me. So um, I believe in them. I trust in them. And the coach be say take the shot. I, I, Ninety-nine percent of the time I take it. But um, these girls have never let me down. Car, Car, coming in your senior year, could you have drawn this up any better? Like scripted wise, ending undefeated, state champs, a competitive game at the end. Could you have drawn it up any better than this? I, I don't think I could have. Uh, I could have made my free throws, but <laughs> <laughs> um, I just, I'm, I'm so thankful. Um, we we got the dub, and I don't think I could have. I don't think I don't think it could have went any better. You said the other night that um, <coughs> what you're gonna miss is for four years you've gone and practiced with these girls every day and they've, they've been like your sisters and have you thought at all about you know this is the last time you're going to wear that uniform have you thought about that at all and what are you feeling about that um i have uh, in fact on the way up here i was thinking about it but i had to put it aside just for the 32 minutes that we had to play ball and now that it's over um you know we we, we move on to bigger and better things i love this team and they're never going to be forgotten uh, we, we just want to stay championship it's probably going to be one of the hardest things I ever have to do just because I am so family oriented and these girls are my family. But they're going to let you keep it. <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions? Um, after the quarterfinals last year, you guys lost in that round, never lost another game. Kind of talk about it just going unbeaten this season as a 5 A team. I mean, that's pretty incredible. Um, you know, you, you never take anything for granted. You never think that you, you're gonna lose. It's possible, absolutely. You have you can't go in the mindset with, oh, uh, you know, no team can beat us. We have to play smart. We have to play around that. We know that there's teams out there just as good as us. Um, not after tonight, there isn't. But, um, you know, we have to we have to work through that. Uh, we took it one game at a time. That's the most important thing. There are games. There are close games. There's even games where we were down. But we didn't. Um, I think that our communication and our mental strength has gotten so much stronger from the past couple of years, it's hard to beat us. Um, so that sets us aside from a lot of teams, and that's why we are victorious. When you, when you see UConn undefeated in college basketball, do you, do you now head to Baylor wanting to be a part of ending that streak? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Angie, talk a little bit about this is also your last game. It is, it is. And, and you know, um, first, you know, glory to God. I mean, we can't be here on our own. You know, we pray every day as a team. Um, we work hard, and you got to give credit where credit due, and we're, we're truly blessed. I'm blessed to be able to coach such talented girls. Um, we're all so dedicated to this program, and I, I couldn't be here without them. I mean, we, we practice two days, two a days, every single day. We haven't stopped playing since summer of last year, and we haven't lost a game since summer of last year. So we, we lost the quarterfinals, came into the summer, and decided that we weren't going to take a loss. We were going to do what we had to, and I think the difference in this time, this trip here, and the trips before is this senior mentality, something that we were lacking. And I saw that when we, when we got beat by Ponchatoula. You know, they had seven seniors, I had seven sophomores. And so, you know, you sit and you look at the X's and O's and it comes down to who wants it the most. So, you know, this is gonna be a tough way to go out, but a good way to go out. You know, we're going out with a bang. Um, it's a decision that, was, that came hard to my heart. And um, it's gonna be hard to leave the coaching ram at the high school level. You know, will I coach collegiate ball? Hopefully someday. 
hopefully someday that door will open up for me. You know, I had a couple opportunities a couple of years ago, but I made, you know, I made a commitment to these girls when they were freshmen. I will stay till you graduate. Um, whether I'm in administration, whether I'm assistant principal, I'm gonna do what I can to keep my word. And um, it, it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be hard going home at 2.30 every day. I don't, I'm not, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I've been coaching 20 years. I mean, time, time, time. And it's, it's gonna be hard. Um, but you know what? I kind of look on the bright side. I got them where they needed to be. I brought them to the last game of the last game of the very last game that I could get them to. And I told them in the locker room, it's time for you to, to show what you learned and to show who you are because there's nothing else I can do for you from here on out. Uh, you know what to do. You rely on your teammates. Rely on your ability as players to pull through and, and win a championship. And so, you know, I, I leave the basketball room at high school knowing that I did all I could for Destrehan High School in St. Charles Parish. And I'm very proud to say that I coached the Destrehan Lady Cats. Um, what was your message to them going into the fourth quarter? Because obviously tie game, unbeaten season, state championship on the line. I mean, did you kind of try to calm them down? I did. You know, their spirits are, you know, that's an uncomfortable position for us. We don't like to be uh, within 10 of anybody. You know, we've, we have had out of 35 games, we've had three that were less than 10. Uh, so, you know, when the girls look at me and, and they need some advice and they need some motivation, they need some coaching, I tell them, believe in you. We have this, but you got to perform on the court. We got to adjust our defense, block them out. You, we don't, weren't rebounding like we were supposed to. We're doing a lot of lateral passing that was holding us up in the paint. And kudos to them for a great defense. I mean, we stumbled a little bit. Uh, but I told my girls, rely on what we know, and we know we can go to the goal. We know we can draw the foul. Do what you do best and do you. You do you, you do you, you take care of you, and if everybody plays their role, we win as a team. And so, you know, they went back on the court during the fourth quarter with a little bit of um, motivation. Lily dropped that three, and that's all, we ha that's all we had to have is a little bit of motivation to shift that rim, and we were back in. But, you know, I did tell them, you know, they put one on the board, you put one on the board, you got to come back and work even harder on defense because you let them score on you the first time. So you got to make up for what you messed up and uh, improve on the offensive end. They did a great job today. Any other questions? Thank you. Congratulations, ladies. Thank you. Thank you.